Hello everyone, welcome back to my Unreal Engine tutorial series on how to create an open world game. So today I'm going to work on uh, arrow hits on enemy characters. So here is a demonstration. As you just saw, I'll go a little back, a bit further from the character so I can easily demonstrate. You didn't hear them, right? Yeah, so just like that, you can hit the enemy characters with the arrow. And as always, this episode is sponsored by these generous Patreons. Thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me. Alright, so... I'll first open my arrow so this is my arrow blueprint and this is the fire method and uh, so in order to implement what happens when this arrow hit another enemy character or another object I need to have I need to determine what is the object that I am going to hit so for that I'm gonna do another line trace here line trace by channel Yeah, I can do line trace by channel and here as for the starting position I'm gonna give you this one the actor location the current location of the arrow and then for the ending position I'm gonna give this one oops I should connect it here and I'll yeah for now I'll use the visibility channel right and then if I hit something if I hit something this will take place if I don't hit something I should do the usual the one the function that I already called the, the I implemented this part yesterday if you haven't checked that you do have to check it otherwise you wouldn't understand really what's going on here right so now if I hit something then I can split this one and then I can get the hit location well I do the same thing here as well because I need my arrow to stick a little bit before that point because otherwise uh, arrow head uh, will my because the origin of the arrow is this back not the head so that's why I'm doing it like this out hit location okay that's not connect like this and like this out hit location and then I need to move my arrow to that point I can do it like this the same way move and 
target relative location is this one and the rotation is this one and after my arrow went there I should attach this arrow object to whatever the object that I hit well here I'm gonna I need another interface method because I don't know what kind of object that my arrow will hit it can be a anime character or it can be a human character or it can be something like a tree or something like a explosive barrel or anything so therefore I can't really know beforehand what kind of object that I would hit so therefore I'm gonna have to define another interface like this yeah I already have this BPI damageable and here I have defined on weapon hits so now I'll add another function on arrow hit and here I should give a reference to the arrow object that I hit with like this mm, no this should create a concrete reference from all other car classes or all other blueprints that implement this function this interface to this pp arrow so therefore i wouldn't do that that would increase coupling so therefore for now i'll define this one and as an input i'll give the hit location And then I'll open my human character blueprint and under in the, inside this fight event graph I'll uh, implement on arrow hit event I'll collapse this one right here because Keep it clean. Hit right now. Mm. Well, actually, I have implemented this on weapon hit function event here so. I'm gonna have to do something similar for this one for the arrow hit as well but how can I do that all right so I'll without thinking anything I'll collapse this part into a macro this is uh, on weapon hit part that I am I have implemented in for my melee combat system I'll collapse this one into a macro like this and I'll call it get hit M M is for macro okay and then Mm, this part damage part and yeah as for damage decal I'll collapse this part like this spawn damage decal I have all explained this part also in previous melee combat parts and damage part 
and yeah so I need to call these three things in the arrowhead get hit M and damage M and spawn decal so I'll copy this one and paste like this oh yes the other part get hit part okay it was there right now what should I give for this self and what should I give for this attack so since I don't have uh, a way to get that reference I'll implement it like this yeah I have the hit location I can put it like this and for the damage level for now only for now I'll put 20 no I'll put 5 and then for this one I need a reference so let's go here and create another reference called uh, source actor it should be in the type of actor so that I wouldn't have any concrete references right now whatever this object that I am hitting I'm gonna call on arrow hit on that object like this and for the hit location I'm gonna use this one and now what about the source actor well this is the BP arrow and I don't have a source actor uh, here so therefore I'll add another parameter here in the type of factor like this I'll call it um, source actor oh actually this is the uh, actor who is doing the attack who is firing the arrow so I'll connect it like this now I need to set that reference here connect it here and also when I fire arrow where do I fire arrow yeah it should be here yeah here so self get a reference to self and that's the source actor why is it giving an error compile compile And here I should connect for this component I should give this default same road I forgot to do that also yeah this is correct no I should give the source sector for this get hit M as well let's see if I get can get any result no nothing is happening actually 
it seems uh, that human character is not getting hit by that trace let's see where is here yeah here I am using the visibility as the trace channel and yeah for this capsule component I am ignoring the visibility test trace channel uh, maybe I'm doing that because of some yeah I'll enable this for now by blocking it and then let's try again <coughs> yeah he got hit that's why he shouted Well, actually, I got hit. See? See? Yeah, I am the one who is getting hit. That because... This trace actually hitting myself. Because my arrow... At the moment, my arrow is kind of inside me right so how to prevent that so maybe I should add the source actor as one of the actors to ignore so let's uh, mm -mm. let's make an array here and insert the source actor as an element so I think now this tracing will ignore the source actor yeah it is working All right, so yeah, we can work on particle effects and stuff later, but for now, this will do. See, yeah, let's quickly add a why not? We why don't we add a quick um, blood particle effect as well? And actually, in fact, I have done it before here. A spawn empty at location with this impact but particle so I'll copy this one and go to here on arrow hit and let's spawn this particle like this I'm using this P impact blood particle and the location is this one all right let's see okay <coughs> yeah okay that's all I want to do for today in the next episodes I'll let's work on improving this arrow bow and arrow system and also I want to do stuff like adding a trail to this arrow and I want to implement variations like poison arrows or fire arrows or different explosive arrows and also crafting those arrows so yeah we have a lot to do in the future episodes okay if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club and depending on the tier you join you will have different privileges as I have explained in here and thank you very much for watching and see you in the next episode goodbye